Hey everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's going to be the Get to Know the Fantasy Reader book tag. Originally it was a romance uh, book tag, but then it was switched to fantasy. I will link all the information down below. I actually switched it, also adapted, I should say, to sci-fi in the past, so I'll link that video down below if you are interested in it. But today's gonna be all about fantasy, so let's get through it. So question number one, what is your fantasy origin story? How you came to read your first fantasy novel? To be honest, I can't remember not reading. I feel like even, <laughs> I think I, I, I feel like I told that story before, but even before I could read, I would pretend I could read. I would like memorize books and pretend I could read them. So I feel like I've always read. Uh, I'm sure there are a bunch of books, fantasy books I've read or that were read to me as a kid. Uh, so I can't really remember my first one, um, but you know, I guess everyone has read Harry Potter. It's the first one I can really remember reading. So yeah, I don't know what is my original <laughs> story for fantasy. Question number two, if you could be the hero or Erin in a fantasy novel, who would be the author and what's one trope you'd insist be in the story? I mean, to no one's surprise, I would love for Brendan Sanderson to write a story I'm in, please. Um, and the subject, the trope, I mean, again, no surprise if you've seen any of my videos. I want a magical school. That is that that is my thing. I believe one of the next question is about subgenre, so <laughs> definitely prepare for magic. But yes, I mean, he always has really great magic system. So I'm very, I would be very excited to see what he comes up with, and uh, I'm sure I would get like an amazing ending, and just the world building would be interesting. So it has to be him. <laughs> question number three: What is a fantasy you've read this year that you want more people to read? Ooh, let me look that up. Actually, I feel like this year I've read less books than I usually do. Usually, my Goodreads uh, reading challenge is 100 books, but because of the pandemic, I was in a reading slump for a while, right? So I'm currently, as I'm filming this, 50 something books into. Uh, my reading challenge. So still a good amount. Uh, I did not read that many fantasy books. Usually about 25% of my reading is fantasy. So 25% of 50 something is not that many, I feel like. I've only given five stars to one book so far that is a fantasy book this year, and it's The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. So I guess it has to be that one. I had given myself the goal this year, uh, my 20 books that I wanted to read in 2020 were all books that I thought I was going to give five stars to. And I don't know how, like premonition, uh, I felt like I would need it. I wanted to really enjoy my year. <laughs> Honestly, looking back on that video, it's like, oh my gosh. Uh, so I had given myself the right to finally read The Way of Kings because book four is coming out in November this year. And I just, was cracking and I wanted to read it. So I read the first one, I truly enjoyed it, obviously gave it five stars, uh, but I feel like the first book, there's a ton of world building, so not that much happens, but it looks already like it's going to be epic and I'm all for it. So it has to be my number one, like rating wise, but I don't know if it's the most accessible one. But you know what? I look at the other ones that I've read and it's by far the best one. So it has to be that one. I guess you're starting with the big things, but I need to do a video. Once I've read all of his books or most of them, I want to do like a guides to Brandon Sanderson. And it wouldn't necessarily be the first one I would recommend by him. I would go with something like Warbreaker or Elantris, which are currently standalones. Um, so yeah. Not my main recommendation by him, the first book I would pick up, but it's the best one that I've read this year, which is the question, so. <laughs> question number four, what is your favorite subgenre of fantasy? What subgenre have you not read much from, or I guess the ones I don't really care for? Uh, I had to look that up because frankly, I don't really think about the subgenres like ever in fantasy. I feel like you'll have like low fantasy, high fantasy, I guess. But other than that, I don't really think about it. Uh, so after looking that up, um, <laughs> The ones that I enjoy, obviously, Sword and Sorcery, which, like I was saying, definitely my jam. If there's Magic System or Witches uh, or Magical School, I will read that book and most likely enjoy it. Um, the ones that I don't really read, Magical Realism. Uh, again, if you're new here, you don't realize this, but um, Magical Realism, it's almost a joke at this point. Anything that especially if the magic system is a bit like weird and like nature and like vague and stuff. I tend to just as a joke, call it magical realism because I just don't like it. And uh, it's <laughs> not any deeper than that. So yes, magical realism, not really my jam. Otherwise from the list that I'm seeing, fairy tale. Um, I like the idea of fairy tales, but I just never end up enjoying them when I read them. So I would put that in there too. Uh, one that I do enjoy also is uh, myths. 
I didn't really think that was a subgenre, but it is. So anything by Madeline Miller. <laughs> That's like the only <laughs> ones that I've read, but I really enjoy her writing. I enjoyed uh, The Song of Achilles and uh, Circe. And I know she's coming out with a new one. I'm still hoping she's gonna come up with one from, uh, what's that character? The one with the, the snakes on her head, Medusa. I am dying, but I mean dying for her to write that story. So please do it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I like those ones too. And uh, the other ones that I'm seeing, I feel like I should probably read more urban fantasy. I don't feel like I've read that many. And one category that I don't read is anything that is romance. I feel like it's very often the case, especially why, okay, like real talk, um, why fantasy tend to be romance in a fantasy world. I resent those a lot. <laughs> Question number five, who is one of your Otopai fantasy authors? Uh, I mentioned it in the sci-fi version, but I did a video where I was, actually did a series of videos where I was talking about authors, uh, the ones that I would never read from again, the ones that I automatically purchase or read, and then the ones I want to read more from. So uh, I have more in there if you wanna see. I'm not gonna mention again Brandon Sanderson because I've just mentioned him. Um, I feel like N.K. Jemisin, I feel like I've only read one trilogy by her, but I have, you can't really see, but I have a lot of her books right here and I want to read more by her, uh, but they're kind of in between sci-fi and fantasy, but whatever. I don't feel like I have that many authors that I will purchase everything they write because it's like either that they uh, wrote books in so many different genres or I haven't read enough to say I would, you know, commit to purchasing everything. Yeah, it will have to be Brandon Sanderson and N.K. Jemisin, even though I'm totally cheating with her. So I feel like I always cheat in most tags anyway. Uh, question number six. How do you typically find fantasy recommendations? Oh, um, usually Goodreads, either the list or people that I follow, which we're talking about that in separate questions, so I'll talk about it more. Uh, also, I feel like I used to watch more YouTube videos than I do now, so I do feel like some of my TBR, uh, my backlisted one, uh, I have a bunch of recommendations from other people uh, that I follow on booktube, uh, again, good reads in the list, like I was saying, but also whenever I go to library sales, I'll look uh, in those sections and then uh, check out the reviews on good reads. And if it seems interesting, the reviews are positive, I will uh, pick it up. And uh, like I was saying, also in the sci-fi version, uh, Reddit, but very specific team. I feel like if you just look randomly, it's gonna be the same five books. And and Brendan Sanderson, <laughs> and mostly uh, Patrick Rothfuss, which, um, so yeah, you have to be very specific uh, and find, like try to find similar books to, to other ones that you've enjoyed, like specific teams, specific topic. So if you look for something like Magical Schools, you'll find new recommendations that aren't the same five. <laughs> Question number seven, what is an upcoming fantasy release you're excited for? I don't feel like I know that many that are coming out next year. I feel like there are too many series that I'm not caught up with slash I tend to wait like I was saying for them to be all out oh my god there's a spider <laughs> on my tripod wow it just like turned very fast to be visible that is scary so if you see me do this a lot and look that's why um so yeah I do feel like I tend to wait a lot for series to be over like completed for me to like go through them so I don't tend to have that many that I'm waiting for but as I'm filming this, actually, it's not out yet, so let me count it. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but there's also the last book in the Puppy War. <laughs> it's moving. Uh, the Puppy War trilogy, uh, Burning God, I think. I'm definitely waiting for that one. It's coming out uh, beginning of November, which I'm hoping is going to be good because I did enjoy, again, specifically the beginning of the first book because of the magical uh, school setting, mostly school setting. And um, I enjoy the magic system. And book two really like expanded the world. And book three is looking like it's going to be even more. So very curious. That one, the magic system is based on gods that aren't actually good people. And the magic, the magic whenever people use it, it kind of drives them a little cuckoo. So yeah, excited for that one too. What is one misconception about fantasy you would like to lay to rest? Um, I feel like there aren't that many bad things said about it on booktube, but I guess in the real world, you'll get a bunch of people saying that it's kind of pointless to read it because it's not nonfiction, uh, it's not classic, so it doesn't make you well-read and doesn't like help you in life kind of thing. But I uh, first off can't stand people like that, so it doesn't really matter what they think. Um, but I feel like there are studies that prove that like it makes you more empathic and like you get to experience life 
different kind of lives through other people. And I don't know, I personally enjoy it. And there's nothing wrong with just reading for your own enjoyment. Like, I think there's like 10% of my reading that is nonfiction every year. So like, I'm not someone that's going to judge someone based on that. But yeah, that would be my, my one misconception, I guess. I don't think anyone on here right now is judging anyone, but... Question number nine, if someone had never read a fantasy before and asked you to recommend the first three books that comes to mind as places to start, what would those recommendations be? This is so hard because I have yet to do beginner's guides to a fantasy. I've done plenty for sci-fi just because it doesn't seem to be as popular in booktube and I've been wanting to force everyone to read some, but uh, I would have to pick one by Brenda Sanderson. So like I said, either Elantris or Warbreaker, that would be the first one. Second one, I'm trying not to just pick my favorites, but also like beginner friendly ones. I'm gonna choose three that aren't like everyone should read these three, but more based on like different kind of people. We're gonna go with that. So uh, I feel like the uh, Elantra Swearbreaker is more like everyone-ish would enjoy it, uh, as long as you're not a very character-driven uh, kind of reader. Uh, if you enjoy some romance, which I know coming from me, but uh, I know there are a bunch of contemporary slash romance reader on booktube, I would highly recommend the Winner's Curse trilogy. Uh, could not put them down. And again, I am definitely a romance hater. <laughs> and I was into that one, weirdly enough. If you don't enjoy it, don't judge me. That one or... Um, Oh, what is it called? The Kiss of Deception. I also feel like that one is very heavy, especially on the first book on romance, but I feel like it becomes bigger and bigger afterwards. So, so both good suggestions for romance reader. You know what? We're going to go actually with Madeline Miller. So depending on what you're more into story-wise, either The Song of Achilles or Circe, I do feel like more people enjoy the song, the song of Achilles. So that might be the safer bet. But if you want to go through it as an audiobook, get Circe because the narrator, I'm in love with her, her voice. Oof. So uh, yeah, these would be my <laughs> three <laughs> recommendation. I should say six, but three. <laughs> if you've seen any of my tags, I can never stick to like one recommendation or three apparently. Question number 10, who is the most recent fantasy content, uh, reading content creator you came across that you would like to shout out? I'm kind of cheating with Patrick. <laughs> uh, I will link his channel down below. He, uh, I followed him on Goodreads a lot. Uh, he tends, he does read a little sci-fi too, but I mostly follow him for his fantasy uh, reviews. So yes, I used to follow him on Goodreads. He has a blog and recently started a booktube channel. So definitely go ahead and follow him. I still need to read the... Uh, What's it called? City of Stairs? The trilogy. I have them on my shelf and I know you gave, I believe, all of them five stars. I'm hoping it's gonna happen before the end of the year, otherwise next year, promise. But yes, uh, he has really uh, great reviews. I feel like I tend to agree with his ratings, so follow him. If you personally have some favorite content creator uh, on booktube mostly that uh, you enjoy following for fantasy recommendations, please leave them in the comment section. This is the place to advertise them. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I need to start a list for a beginner's guide to fantasy. I feel like it has been requested ever since I did the one for sci-fi. So I will work on this for 2021, pinky promise. I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.